Hi guys and welcome to the next installment of my makeup inventory and collection. Basically I'm going through my whole collection. I will be doing nail polish and beauty products if you'd like. I already have a lot, some people wanting nail polish so I will be doing that after I go through the rest of my um, makeup products. So today we're going to do highlighter and bronzer and I've done a couple of these before. I will link the playlist in 2017 below. But in 2015, I had nine highlighters. 2016, I had 11. And currently, I have eight highlighters. And I, on both these product or both these categories, I missed one. Like, I don't know where, why I haven't put it on there. Um, one of the products I did get last year. And then the other one, I don't know. I just don't think I want to put it on there. So we're going to start with our highlighters. Um, like I said, I have eight one I'm currently using is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. It's a cream highlighter. Um, and I've been mixing this in with my foundation. And so that's the highlighter you see on my face. Like if you see, um, this is the only I've been this is the only one I've been using. I haven't been putting extra highlighter on. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of liquid highlighters, so I wouldn't repurchase this. I do like the color of it. It is an opal. Um but powder highlighters are the way to go for me. The next one is one I'm also currently using. Um, and this one's in my July Project Pan. This is the Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter. Um, and here's a swatch of it. It's a matte highlighter and I've just been using it as a brow bone highlighter. Again, I don't like pencil highlighters so I won't be purchasing this. I got this one from Birchbox and this one from my mom so that's why I have them to start with. And this is the Well People Bio Brightening Stick Sample in Moonstone. Um, I had two of these at one point. I did use one of them up and I used it more as a cream shadow or a brow bone highlight and this is how we use this one as well. Um, I believe I, my plan is to use this one once the shallow one is gone. Um, but it comes typically in a stick form, so I won't purchase this one because I don't like stick highlighters either. I've been, I didn't have very many highlighters, and then obviously I had a, I got a ton, and I'm really realizing what I like and what I don't like. This next thing is the one I forgot to add on, and this is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil. It's kind of a face product and makeup product at the same time, like beauty and makeup product, um, because it is supposed to be good for you, like your skin, but you also can put it on top of makeup or use it as a highlighter. Um, so it just looks like this. I haven't used it too much, um, but yeah, there's that. The last four are powder products and this one is a the elf baked blush in pink tastic if you watched my blushes which was my last um episode of it i guess then i went through the rest of these but this is a gorgeous highlighter it's like one of my favorites i love this color i would think about repurchasing this because i love this highlighter so i used to have a dome and now it's flat but I love, love, love this. The next highlighter is very similar to that. And it's the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And so um, it's that same type of tone, which I love. And I haven't used this hardly at all. So I have quite a bit of these powder highlights um, to use up. But I love both of these. The next two are kind of blush bronzer highlighters I put them in the highlighters um but they're ones I would use all over my face and I wouldn't need anything else it's just kind of like a quick go like put it on and go and so these are by Bare Minerals and they're like the Bare Minerals face color in Bare Radiance so this is more of like a bronzy color and then this is soft focus glee and it's just a little bit has more of a pinky tone to it but both of these I put in the highlighters they're just all over face colors um, so they don't really go anywhere but I really like them um, so they're kind of like a shimmery blush too they don't have a ton of ton of color that's why I put them in the highlighters but like I said it kind of be an all-over product and I love them um, 
but as I'm panning, trying to get, you know, whittle things down, an all over product is not the best product when you're trying to use up multitude of products. So those were all of my highlighters. The next category is bronzers. And in 2015 and in 2016, I had six. And now I have five. I would have four. Um, but like I said, one of them I just didn't add in. So like I said, we'll just get started. This first product is again kind of a bronzer highlighter mixture. When there are products that could go in both, I just put them in one um category and kind of go with it so this is a becca low light highlight perfecting palette um it has a highlighter and a bronzer color they're cream products there's the highlighter and the bronzer and because the bronzer the low light was bigger that's why i put it in the bronzers um, i'm not a huge cream bronzer fan um but you know maybe in the I'm gonna try this in the winter time and or uh, next summer because I'm working on a bronzer right now that um, is in my pan that palette so there's that I do like those I just am not a huge cream bronzer person the next thing that's kind of a cream bronzer is the Stila one step bronze this is the um, product that wasn't ever in there but I've had this for years so it should have been um, this is the Skin Tone Illuminating Bronzing Serum. So maybe I was like, well, it's a face product. I'm not going to add it into my makeup. But this is now in my July Project Pan, which should be coming up soon. Um, it just looks like this. I've just been mixing it in with my foundation to darken it up since I am a little bit tanner. So and there's that. I wouldn't repurchase this. I do, I do like it. Um, for that, like mixing it with my foundation. But... I, I don't know. We'll have to see next summer if I can just make my foundations work or if I need like something like this because I enjoy just getting the lightest foundation that and it always works and so um, we'll just see. But maybe I get like a darker foundation will be okay. The next one is one that I absolutely love and it's the Laura Geller Lush and Brighten and Honey Dipped. I've had this for quite some time. Um, this is a shimmery bronzer. I, like I said, I love it, especially in the summertime. Um, I currently have one in my pan that pile, like I just said, um, that's a shimmery bronzer. And I just, this, I really wish I could go back to this. Um, but next summer, this and me are going to be BFFs. I love it. But I've had to get through some other, I've wanted to get through, I didn't have to, but I wanted to get through some other bronzers. Um, some another shimmery bronzer so I'm really happy to have this be my last shimmery bronzer the next two bronzers are the same product and it is the hula bronzer by benefit so I have the box version and then I have a sample version I got this one in my birch box and I got the other one um, for a birthday gift so this is what it looks like. It's just a matte bronzer. And I really like this. There are a couple other like matte bronzers I want to try. But I have to get through both of these first before I try matte bronzer. So it will probably be, you know, a couple years um, at the rate bronzers go for me for sure. Pale person. So, um, yeah, I've been, I like this. I've used this one quite a bit. This will be the bronzer I go to. Um, probably next I might try like once my pan that palette's gone I might try this one um, or this one and I might use this one end up um, as like a crease color too um, but we'll see so those were my bronzers and highlighters I hope you enjoyed and um, I'm not sure what my next one we we will have to find out next Saturday hopefully there'll be one up and I will talk to you all later bye